Good evening, everybody. Happy Friday. Cheers. I'll put my GT down there. First off, welcome to the Passages Friday night garden party at home with Adam Frost. It's an absolute pleasure for us to have been asked to be involved. Um, one big confession to make before I go into what we're going to do. I'm a terrible gardener. Looking down my garden here, that way, I went to cut some ivy from the garage the other day. Had a beautiful trailing bush that goes a, across a metal pergola thing. I've accidentally chopped it off to my mother's absolute horror. Um, so apologies to all you gardeners out there. Um, I actually live in my grandma's house, who was an avid gardener. Um, big fan of Gardener's World. A huge fan of Jeff Hamilton. Um, and I'm sure she would have liked Adam Frost just as much if she was still with us. But uh, you've got me. Um, so I'm going to give you some information on HMS Spirits. Um, it's a company I founded and still run, based down on the south coast uh, in the New Forest. Um, started after a hobby. Four years of distilling at home um, in my garage just as a hobby. Came up with the recipe for what's now our flagship blend, our HMS Spirits Mary Rose Gin. Um, it's a classic London dry. Um, for those of you who don't know what a London dry is, it just means there's nothing but added after the distillation. Um, so it's probably the kind of purest gin you can get. Um, there's no flavorings, colorings, sugars. Um, so I came up with that one. Um, now we've got three in the fleet. So we've got our Mary Rose, the classic London dry, juniper lead, so it tastes really ginny. Um, we had pink grapefruit in there to lift the front of the palate and rosemary to give a nice soft finish. Uh, we've done a navy strength version of that, our Dreadnought Gin. Same base spirit, but we take that to 57.5% ABV. And then we've done a summer elderflower blend, our Elizabeth Gin. So that's a classic London dry that we've blended with our uh, natural elderflower distillate. So you still get a juniper lead gin, but you get the warm honey, floral-like tones as the elder, elderflower as the finish. Uh, so what we're going to do today, uh, I'm going to teach you, well, not teach you, show you my perfect g and &T. It's very subjective though, so everyone's is gonna be different. I'll show you my perfect g and &T. Uh, And then I'm gonna take you through two cocktails. Um, my focus of the cocktails as well was to be quintessentially British. Uh, so we're gonna do an elderflower based one and we're gonna do a blackberry based one. Um, nice and fresh, spring, summery. Uh, and something a little bit different. One of them doesn't use, well, neither of them use any tonic. Um, so it's, it, for those of you that don't like tonic, it's something a little bit different as well. Um, and hopefully might open you up to the world of gin. Uh, so let's give it a go, shall we? So guys, the humble gin and tonic, about as quintessentially British as we can get and a perfect accompaniment to any British garden party. Let's keep it really simple, really clean. A glass, ideally HMS branded. And we load that with ice. Some people worry about putting too much ice in in case it melts and dilutes the drink. The more ice you've got in there, the colder it will keep it, so the less it will dilute. So my advice is load it up. So from there, a nice big thick wedge of pink grapefruit. The reason I use pink grapefruit is we use it in the distillation process with our Mary Rose gin. I also think it's nice and citrusy but not quite as tart as a lemon or lime so it just gives you that perfect balance. So from there a quick once around the rim of the glass. One that initial taste and two the scent will come up. A little squeeze and pop it in. From there a healthy double shot of our Mary Rose gin. And then a good quality tonic of your choice. A nice Indian tonic or a slimline. My personal favorite is Lixers Refreshingly Light. Lixers made by a couple of guys, uh, initially from Newcastle, now London based. It's a stunning tonic, has a tiny grapefruit hint to it. I go, about half the bottle. And then with a nice bar spoon, a very gentle stir. You don't want to knock all the carbonation out of it. And for me, 
that's just about perfect. So cheers guys, I hope you're having a nice time. Let's drink number one. Oh, beautiful. Right guys, next up we're gonna make a bramble. Very British, because it contains blackberries, which when in season here are phenomenal. So first off, six big blackberries in your glass. And we're gonna muddle those. This just means squish. Squish all that beautiful juice out. There we go. Pop him back in. From there, we're gonna add 50 ml gin. To this one, we're gonna use our Elizabeth gin, our elderflower one. It goes really nice with the blackberries. So, a nice double shot of that. that we're going to add 25 ml of lemon juice and then 25 ml of sugar syrup you can easily get this in all the supermarkets now if not it's a really easy mix two parts sugar one part water boil it up let it simmer cool it down it's good in the fridge for about two months Luckily, I get sent some by suppliers. And then to that, it's nice and easy. A nice big scoop of crushed ice. Maybe one more. Up to the top. Give that a nice stir. It's gonna chill it and then as the ice melts, because you're using crushed ice, it will dilute um, and add to the drink. Give it a good stir around. That'll be off. Oh, maybe one nice big plump one on the top you can look forward to at the end. And that is your fresh British Bramble cocktail. Cheers. Right then guys, third and final cocktail for this evening from us. It's a light, floral, citrusy Elderflower Collins. Our take on the standard Tom Collins. Really easy to make at home. Doesn't involve any tonic for those that you aren't keen on it. Gives you another alternative. So, nice and easy. A couple of bits of ice into the shaker. To that, we're going to add a generous double shot, 50 millilitres of our Elizabeth gin. Twenty-five millilitres Saint Germain elderflower liqueur. Equally, if you've got elderflowers grown at home, you could use your own elderflower cordial. Two parts sugar, one part water, plus uh, the elderflowers. Boil that up, let it simmer, and then uh, then strain it, it'll be beautiful. To that we're gonna add 25 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And we're gonna give that a quick shake. Take your glass. Preferably an HMS Spirits branded one. Nice generous helping of ice. In goes our ice cold mixture. Next door's dog saying, next door's dog saying hello. And to that we're going to top up with soda. I'm using a, a proper vintage, Tesco's. Sparkling water. Add another two thirds of soda. And then garnish that with a nice, fresh bit of lemon peel. Oh, that one missed. In that one goes. Cheers, guys. 
Ah, lovely. Enjoy the rest of the evening. It's been a pleasure to spend some time with you. Um, if you'd like any more information on the reins, just hmsspirits.com or hmsspirits on social media. Stay safe uh, and hopefully I'll meet some of you face to face really soon.